welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody is welcome here. Yeah. If you're Seminole, you're welcome. And if you're Bakra, you're welcome. Everybody's welcoming. God bless your soul. My name is Bertha Faye Benson. My parents' name was George Faye. In Spanish, the name was Simon Alvarez. And my, my mother' name was Viola Mariscal. And they from Mexico. And they were Seminole Indian descendants. My daddy was born in Mexico. And my mother was born in Martha, Texas. And my family been come from Mexico, Nacimiento, Coahuila, Mexico. A small town, small little, little village outside, outside the town of Muskis, Muskis, Coahuila, Mexico. Every summer, my family been gone to, been go to, to Nacimiento, the little ranch at the foot of the hills. My grandmama been, can keep them up, keep the ranch up, it been have cattle them, it been had got them, and pigs, and chicken, chicken and it been had got them. In the afternoons when we've been there, we've been always quiet, always calm, quiet, and in the evening, my, mom, my daddy and my brothers been pack up the truck and get the hot them and they gone in the truck. We no one knows where they went. And then when they come back, them had the truck full, full of cane, full of corn. We call it Rosania, Rosania. And, and my daddy been fix the fire and fix up the sticks, start the fire and roast the corn, roast the Rosania. And I've been liking so much. I've been sit right by my daddy's side and I watch, and I watch, and I help, and I help, and I, and now that I'm grown, I know how to cook good corn. I know how to roast the corn. Real, real, real good. Other times, my daddy been bring the truck full of cane, long stick them the cane, and, and we peel them, and we peel them, we cut the lip because it's sharp, it's sharp, you have to be careful. And we peel and peel and we learn how. After we cut up our lip, after we cut up our fingers, then we learn, we learn how to peel them careful, how to peel them, how to chew it, chew it, eat them and eat them and chew it and spit it out. Uh, at um, other times, sometimes, they've been killed a bull, a calf, a calf. And all, all the people that live around the, the villages, they come, they come visit. There were so many, I never even know that they've been lived there. They come and where they come from? Where they live? I never knew there were so many villagers. And they come, they help, they, they cut, they, they dry them to make, to make dry meat. And my daddy even get the bull them and lay them out over there and kill the bull. And after they've been finished, the other bull them, the big old brimmer bull with the big hump on the back, they come, they smell around there. And I don't know why, I don't know why, but then they begin, they start to fight. They come back, they back up, and they run into each other. I was a little bitty girl. And I remember I was so I was so scared, but I but I had to see. I was up against the fence, just the watch. I've been the watch. I've been the watch. And I remember real, really good. My daddy been come to the kitchen door, and they been yelling at me, been yelling, "Get away from the fence! The bull gonna come and crush you!" Why well, did dog? My daddy been sick, so I back up a little bit. Back up the minute I back up. Big Brahma bull come rolling, bam, hit the fence. Hit the fence where I was. Woo, Lordy. I was okay. <laughs> I was good. Here I am. In Mexico, in the little village, where nobody had a washing machine and no. Uh, my mama and my, my, my auntie, my aunt Alice, 
and I pack up all the clothes and lay the sheet out on the ground and put all the clothes. Seven children we had. Seven children my mama had. And it folded up, tied up, put the big up, the big thing, big up thing up in the truck. And we go on to the Indian Creek. And that's where my mama been washed the clothes in the Indian Creek. Uh, my mama didn't make the fire for the clothes that she boiled. She boiled the clothes, the white ones, and, and she been scrub it on the scrubbing board in the in the water. And my mama they rinse in the water and hung up the clothes. I've been hanging the clothes up in the tree, up on the fence. Mm -hmm. And and me and my brother, we've been little. We've been the little ones mm -hmm. of the family. And we play and we play all day in the water, waiting for the water to get warm, but now never get warm. That water was cold, cold, cold. Spring, spring water. Spring water. And, we, and when we bring, we've been bringing a watermelon. Oh, yeah. The watermelon was hot because the sun been hot. So we get the watermelon, put them in the water, because the water been cold, cold. And then the water, make the watermelon go. We wait and we wait a while. For me and my brother, it was too long, long while. But wait a while and then we cut the watermelon, it was good and cool.